Science is trying to achieve everything through physical means, by taking physical quantities, going by the physical laws. If you go through physical means, you will hit that glass wall somewhere. I think, in my perception, I'm not a scientist, I don't know all of it, but in my perception, I think the physicists are near the glass wall. They might not have hit it, they're near. That's the unknown question, right? We have no guarantee how far we'll get in science. But by glass wall, I assume you mean we, we run to a place where we where, say we can't… Where the present faculties will not be good enough. Um, the yeah. present, present faculties of five senses and a brain will not be good enough. That we hit a, a long time ago. So for example, things like quantum yeah, physics, so. quantum physics you can't understand it. But you can write it down in equations that make predictions accurate out to 14 decimal places. So we think it's pretty good and we can build new things out of it that we, we can see things much smaller and much farther away than we ever could before. We understand the, the wondrousness and the subtleness of everything around us much better than we did before. But the actual physics, a human can't understand. We just make tools to, uh, to get where we need to go with it. So we've already hit that point. And certainly it's the case with the human brain, which is made up of a, you know, almost a hundred billion specialized cells with thousands of trillions of connections between them. I, and every I, I second like the way you're saying it with the, the passion. <laughs> <laughs> Like some people are talking about food or something yeah. else. <laughs> I'm a brainy instead of a You feed on the brain. Yeah. <laughs> but the reason it's easy to be passionate about it is because it's a system of such unimaginable complexity that it bankrupts the language. It, 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 we have no way that a human could perceive a system of that complexity and yet each of us has it uh, in, you know, there's this three-pound organ that we're carrying around, but we've already hit that point a long time ago in science where we realize we can make new strains of mathematics, we can make computer simulations, but we'll never get it. I'll never get the brain. All I can do is take the, uh, uh, you know, the way, the way that you explained the 16 aspects of the mind, you simplified it down to four. I'm, I, I, you know, the best I can do is take the thousands of trillions of connections in the brain and make some cartoony model that my impoverished intellect can sort of get its, get a sense of. They're building a simulator, brain simulator, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Marker is busy <laughs> building this <laughs> simulated brain. Uh, all that is fine, we are looking at the physical mechanics of what's happening. The complexity of what's happening is beyond the physical mechanics. See, looking at the physical mechanics of the brain, the neuronal function and the electric… Uh, the thing that's happening, the waves that are flowing, whatever things happening, is fantastic because of the complexity of what it is, the sophistication of what it is. It is the gadget, no question. Okay? This human gadget is the gadget on the planet. Of what we have seen, this is the most sophisticated gadget on the planet, there's no question about that. Keeping that aside, but even this brain can be manufactured with something as simple as a piece of a carrot or a bread. So I'm saying, there is an intelligence here which can create a brain. Why are you ignoring that intelligence? I think the heart of science is to try to understand what that is.